The rescue operation at a disused gold mine in South Africa where illegal miners were trapped underground is being suspended tonight. There are reports that emergency services only happened upon the incident by accident after hearing the screams of a group of miners trapped by boulders near the surface. The 12 men who've been rescued have been arrested and claim there may be 200 more still underground, but they are too afraid to come out. The abandoned mine shaft is in Benoni, a suburb to the east of Johannesburg, as Jane Deeth reports. Among the rescuers in full safety gear, two young-looking men in woolly hats with one head torch between them. They've been trapped in an illegal mine for two days. They're saying 200 men could still be down there, having dug a tunnel trying to access a gold mine. The disused mine they were trying to tap into is owned by the Chinese. It's about 20 miles outside Johannesburg, near the town of Benoni. The mine is unstable and dangerous. It took hours for rescuers to reach the 30 men nearest the surface with ropes and ladders. While rumours spread this was not an accident but a result of actions by a rival group of illegal miners. What they have told emergency workers is that um, they were trapped when uh, two large boulders uh, fell down on the opening side and um, that's when that was their only access point and there was no way for them to then egress out of that area. Could those boulders have been put there? We were hearing reports that eyewitnesses had told emergency workers that a rival gang had somehow blocked the exit. It is definitely possible. Um, it is not uncommon for rival groups to uh, close up an area if they do feel that they're not happy with other people in an area. So we're not ruling that out, however, we can't state it as in fact. The men who've surfaced have been checked by medical teams, then handed over to police. They say there are 200 men much deeper underground who are scared to come up because they know they'll be arrested. The rescuers say they'll keep looking, but they doubt there are many more trapped men. As legal mines have closed, many have gone back underground illegally. Channel 4 News filmed this illegal coal mine in Eastern Cape last year, where workers risk their lives for the equivalent of £5 a day. Hundreds have died in tunnel collapses. But tonight, some of the miners in Benoni say they don't want to be rescued if it means arrest. So the operation's been halted until the men below the earth ask for help. Well, joining us now from Johannesburg is our reporter, Deborah Patter. Deborah, that's an astonishing proposition that men would rather stay under the ground after two days or more traps mm -hmm. for fear of arrest. Indeed, choosing a life-threatening situation rather than being rescued. What you've got here is a glimpse into a real murky underworld of South African mining. Whole communities of people living underground for weeks at a time, illegally mining disused mine shafts. And it's obviously lucrative enough for them to risk their lives, or they're desperate enough to need this money that they would do this. What you saw today was 11 successful rescue attempts, but as soon as those miners were brought to the surface, they were arrested by police on the scene because what they are doing is illegal. In fact, the last two miners of that group of 11 saw the police there and then tried to rush back down the ladder that had been sent down the shaft, but police managed to grab them and pull them up. After that, the rest of the miners still below the surface clammed up, refused to cooperate and communicate, so rescue work has then removed their ladders and have suspended the operation, saying it's just too risky for them to go down there. But South African police continue to patrol the area. They also have search and rescue teams in place. So if those miners do reach out to them, they will, of course, then send people to rescue. But with the provisor, you come up, you possibly go into jail. But how big a problem is this whole issue of illegal mining? I mean, this mine wasn't walled off or anything. I mean, they seem to have got there fairly easily. It's, it's not uncommon in South Africa. In fact, in mining areas around the country, you see this um, very often, and those visuals you showed earlier um, reflect this situation where people, as I said, risk their lives. They're very um, agile. They go in with a, sort of the most basic of equipment, um, supplies, and often stay in there for weeks at an end. So the figures that they're giving of up to 200 could well, in fact, be true. There could be whole communities. You see women and men going down into these mines. Um, so 
this is a problem that besets South Africa. It's unregulated, obviously, and it's very, very dangerous. People die, often unknown. And in fact, these people would not have been rescued if, in fact, police had not been patrolling in the morning. Deborah Patter, thank you.